In this overview, we are going to discuss some of the resources that are currently available. We have deployed a page within our website that has links to all of the various resources we have developed. It can be a bit overwhelming, however, as there are many links on the page that divert you to a number of different files that are used for different purposes. Let me first scroll down to the demo. Here you can review any of the packages that we have created in practice. The demo is available in a number of different languages. You can view these languages by selecting the appropriate login details. Underneath the demo is the download section, which is where the majority of our resources are posted. Each of our packages are using DebHO guidelines in order to inform our design decisions. A link to these guidelines is available here. Underneath this, you will see a section that is updated upon each release. This includes information on the release of the latest version, as well as notes to upgrade your packages from one version to the next. If I open up the release notes, we can see it includes the updates that have been included for each individual package, as well as any new components that are available. It is a good idea to review these each time a new version is released to get an overview of the various updates that have been applied. Reviewing the upgrade notes, we can see that these are meant for DHIS2 administrators who are installing and maintaining the packages. These notes discuss the steps that need to be taken when moving from one version of the package to another. Underneath the release notes and the upgrade notes, we have three documents that are referred to. Prior to installing any of the packages, it is recommended that you have a look at the server configuration guide, the system design document, and the installation guide for each package. This is best displayed in the table a little lower on the page, as it has links to each of these documents for each package. The server configuration guide and installation guide are meant for DHIS2 administrators, similar to the upgrade notes. The system design document should be reviewed by anyone considering using a specific package. The server configuration guide outlines some of the processes of configuring a server to run a new installation of DHIS2. It is our recommendation to set up a new instance of DHIS2 when working with any of the tracker packages in particular due to security and configuration considerations. The installation guide goes through the details of how to actually install a package once DHIS2 has been configured. This means a DHIS2 instance, either new or existing, must be in place prior to installing the package. There are a number of detailed steps that can be followed in order to install the package on your own system. Lastly, each package has a system design document. This document outlines the workflow of the program in detail, including the objectives of the package, what the package includes, use cases and user types it supports, the overall structure of the program, detailed descriptions of each process covered in the package, logic that is applied to the program to support data entry, and the various indicators that are included in the package. These are a particularly good resource if you want to familiarize yourself with a particular package in detail to understand what it provides. Back on the website, above the downloads table, there are additional resources that can support you as you implement these packages. This includes a newly released tracker implementation guide and links to the community of practice frequently asked questions board and overall discussion board. The tracker implementation guide discusses practical considerations to make when implementing tracker programs in your context. This includes checklists to understand what it will take to implement, build, and maintain tracker implementations over time. The community of practice is our main resource for collaborating as a community to help answer questions you may have around the packages. The community supports the development of a shared, open knowledge base that anyone can access. There is a frequently asked questions thread that is updated regularly, and we recommend that you make a post here if you have a specific question that you need help with. The resources we have developed are evolving as we update the packages and review additional guidance. As you can see here, we have tried to develop resources that cater to both DHIS2 system administrators, as well as other users who will be entering, reviewing, and analyzing the data. As mentioned, if there are any questions about our available resources, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice page that I have just shown.